Welcome to Let's Discover India. In this episode of our Ladakh series, we will take you to Turtuk, the last Indian village in the northern frontier of Ladakh. As the sun dipped behind the rolling sand dunes and the Bactrian camels cast long shadows, we reluctantly bid farewell to Hunder's enchanting landscape. With hearts full of memories, we retired to the cozy embrace of Jordam Guest House. This forceful water stream beside our guest house carving its way through the landscape caught my attention curiosity nudged me to follow its course what unfolded was a marvel a symphony of engineering and nature on observing i found the water is meticulously directed to each house without using any pipeline What's even more interesting was that the water didn't stop within those walls it circled back rejoined the stream and continued its course After a hearty breakfast we embarked on a journey to Turtuk and Thang village As we approached the Turtuk we regularly encountered army camps and checkpoints This area holds a strategic importance to India as it borders Pakistan As our wheels traced the winding roads towards Turtuk we stepped into a realm untouched by the tourist masses Here the air held secrets and the landscape whispered tales of resilience at times our car was the only vehicle cruising on the smooth long winding roads amidst the deserted lands and rugged ash gray tectonic peaks deserted lands stretched out their silence broken only by the crunch of gravel under our tires The tectonic peaks like ancient sentinels stood resolute in ash gray hues. Ladakh is a realm of delightful contradictions, a canvas where nature wields its brush with both subtlety and grandeur. We were cruising along an empty road, the rugged peaks stood sentinel on both sides. The land appears deserted as if time itself has taken a pause and then like a magician revealing secrets the scene transforms suddenly we were surrounded by rare vegetation hardy shrubs clinging to life against all odds the deserts unfold their ochre sands stretching to infinity Ash gray tectonic peaks rise ancient and stoic while snow-capped mountains peak over their shoulders whispering tales of eternal frost amidst the rugged ladakh landscape our weary eyes caught sight of these intrepid bikers a convoy of adventurers weaving through the winding roads 
Ladakh, they say, is a two-wheelers paradise, an open canvas where the engine's roar harmonizes with the whisper of the mountains. Beside us, the Shiok River wove its liquid tail, a steadfast companion guiding our way toward Turtuk. Its flow was gentle and yet purposeful. It seemed to whisper, follow me, I know the way. And we did, tracing the river's course. The green apricot orchards and agricultural fields greeted us to Turtuk. We pulled over at a tea stall and enjoyed the kava, the traditional Kashmiri herbal tea. Fresh after tea, we crossed over the bridge to enter Turtuk village. As we ventured across the sturdy bridge spanning the Shiok River, a delightful panorama unfolded before us. The crystal clear emerald green waters cascaded down from the snow peaks of the Karakoram range, creating a mesmerizing spectacle. Our footsteps led us into the heart of the historic Turtuk village where we meandered along narrow, winding streets, steeped in centuries-old tales. The winding alleys and time-worn stone houses transported us to the bygone era, where history whispered through every weathered facade. We were warmly greeted by these adorable and cheerful little kids of Turtuk. Turtuk is probably the greenest region in Ladakh. Unlike the places in Ladakh, Turtuk has good oxygen levels despite its elevation of over 10,000 feet above sea level, thanks to the abundance of trees and vegetation. It was a scorching afternoon. The tall green trees, apricot orchards and wheat fields provided a great relief. As we walked towards the telescope viewpoint, lush green agricultural fields invited us to step into their embrace. With the camera in hand, we captured some great memories of the green crops amidst the rugged mountains that surrounded us. We then walked into the Durtuk Hotel, the telescopic viewpoint. On entering inside, we discovered this charming new hotel where modern comforts meets breathtaking views. It has got spacious rooms flooded with natural light, pristine bathrooms, and yes, they have Wi-Fi also, because even in the lap of nature, we need our digital fix. They also offer a kitchen and an open terrace dining area where you can enjoy your meal surrounded by nature. If you seek a tranquil stay in Turtuk, the Durtuk Hotel nestled in the foothills of a majestic mountain amidst lush green agricultural fields is an enchanting place worth exploring. Afterwards, we strolled onto the terrace to catch a glimpse of the K2 peak, the majestic monarch of the Karakoram range. 
The image of K2 mountain advertised on the internet is somewhat exaggerated. The actual K2 is located over 130 kilometers from Turtuk in Gilgit, Pakistan. What you can see from Turtuk is only a peak that is part of the K2 massif. After not being able to see K2, we felt a little disappointed, but soon we were delighted to watch the Indian and Chinese army posts on the snow-covered high mountain tops through the telescope. Our admiration and reverence for the Indian Army soared as we witnessed firsthand the unwavering commitment of our soldiers who diligently carries out their duties amidst the harshest conditions. Salute to the Indian Army. Afterwards, we had lunch at Durtuk Hotel and enjoyed some leisurely conversations with Mr. Basit Ali, the owner of the hotel. He shared some interesting stories about Turtuk and its history. The village was originally named Durtuk, where Dur means far and Tuk means to rest. It used to be a resting hub for traders during the Silk Road trade, providing a respite for those traveling long distances due to its pleasant climate fresh water and air. We then marched to our next destination, Thang, the last village of India. Thang lies just 10 km away from Turtuk, a scenic drive that unfolds over 20 to 25 minutes of winding roads and breathtaking stars. Thang is the last village of India bordering Pakistan, separated by the Shiok River. During our journey, we passed through several army checkpoints, each marked by stern signboards reminding us that we were under constant watch of the Pakistani army. Despite the vigilant atmosphere, we continued until we reached the peaceful Than village. Guided to the border area, we gazed across the Shiok River toward Furno village on the Pakistani side. Armed with binoculars, we stretched our eyes, hoping to catch glimpses of life beyond the border. While we could see the lush green agricultural fields stretching into the distance, elusive human figures remained hidden from our view. Before the 1971 war, Thang and Farno were the twin villages in Pakistan. Their destinies were intertwined by the shared relationships. However, the conflict between Pakistan and India altered their course dramatically. On the fateful night of December 16th and 17th, 1971, the line of control sliced through these once united villages. Farno remained on the Pakistani side while Thang found itself within the borders of India. The journey through Turtuk unfolded as we returned back to our guest house in Honda with mixed emotions of joy and sorrow. The joy was for visiting the hidden natural wonder like Turtuk well, the sorrow for the sad separation stories of the people of Thang. Thanks for watching. Let's discover India.